Hello guys and welcome back to another beauty related video. This video was kind of inspired from my second to last video which was all about what I packed for my trip to the Maldives. And you guys really seem to love to know what I packed in terms of clothing. So I figured for all of you guys that really love beauty as well I would also go through my beauty bags. In fact I have five bags next to me here of beauty products. I have skincare and some sort of tanning products and things in here. I've got even more skincare and beauty products in here, so that's two huge bags. I then have makeup in this Chanel little bag. I have <laughs> brushes in this, I think it's this, I don't know what it's got all over, it looks like toothpaste. And I also have this Clinique bag that I take everything I need for the night time. So whilst it would take me hours to go through everything here, instead I thought I'd talk you through the products that I would take with me if I was packing even lighter. So the absolute bare essentials when it comes to my beauty and skincare right now. Let's make a start with this bag and see what we have in here and what I absolutely adore. I have this really dainty small version of the Eccentric Molecules Molecule 1 perfume. It's one of my absolute favourites. It's one of those kind of unisex, musky fragrances that anyone can wear. It smells totally different on everyone and I absolutely love this to the moon and back. It's so delicious. Another one in here I've got to mention, the Miss Dior Moisturising Body Milk. I always seem to have this with me. I'll be honest, it's not the most packable shape of bottle. I mean, look at it. It's kind of square and rectangle and a bit all over the place, but I just really love the smell of this. I love how moisturised it makes me feel like I always sort of slap this on my legs most nights. Yeah, absolutely. It just smells so gorgeous. Ooh, one of my absolute favourites. Oh, and it's got looks like some things exploded in here. Literally, I've just come off a plane, another plane, and I thought I'll film this straight away so I know exactly what I had here, genuinely, like naturally what I packed. So this is the Dior Bronze for Body Self Tanning Natural Glow Cream. I've used this, I've talked about this so much, I've used this probably for about 10 years. It's incredible. This is what I use on my face if I want to tan, but I want to tan very gradually. And it just adds a very kind of lovely glow to you the next morning. It's gorgeous. So I generally use this on holidays, most nights, just to kind of give myself more glow. Okay, next up are two products that I am genuinely so in love with right now from Origins. Um, I have done three long haul flights in the past three weeks. Hong Kong, Maldives, and I just got back from Dallas, Texas. Next I'm going to Orlando, and then I'm going to LA, I think. So long haul flying is something I'm doing a lot right now. So my skin's getting really dry at the moment. It just kind of really feels like it needs a really good detox and hydration to the max. So, the last few times I've been traveling, I've taken these with me. So these are from Origins. Origins Maskimizer Skin Optimizing Mask Primer. So what you do with this is, after you completely cleanse on your face, you spray this onto your face and it just pretty much optimises your skin and gets it ready for the face mask. It just helps to hydrate the skin, it helps to soften the skin, and you just kind of make sure that it's ready so that when you put on the mask it's going to do the absolute maximum performance for you. Plus it's so nice when you're on holiday and it's so warm outside, you sort of spritz it on, it's just really cooling and hydrating and... And then this is the mask I've been using, the Origins by All Greens Foaming Deep Cleansing Mask with green tea, spirulina and spinach. So this is what I use after I've used the maskimizer and this is just that amazing kind of cleansing, hydrating, detoxifying step. It is a clay mask but it isn't like those ones that go really tight and really dry and then you're kind of walking around like unable to move your entire face for like half an hour. In fact this is foaming and deep cleansing, it's a bit more kind of hydrating than that. It's just sort of working to unclog all your pores detoxify the skin, just give it more life really and especially after a long haul flight this is just such a dream. But you can also use this in replacement of your cleanser maybe two times a week as well which is quite cool because it just really helps to kind of cleanse the skin, unclog it, detoxify it. I personally prefer to kind of get rid of everything first and then add this and use it more as a mask than a cleanser but it's completely up to you how you prefer to use it but that's that's just the way I like it. This is kind of like a one-stop shop for the skin kind of twice a week, full cleanse and you're good to go. So match made in heaven right now. Really genuinely love these. The L'Oreal Professional Silver Gloss Protect. Now I have this now 
um, because I forgot to take this to the Maldives for some reason it must have fallen out of my bag or maybe I took it out of my bag the night before to wash my hair or something anyway I didn't have it with me and a lot of you kind of noticed that my hair went really golden blonde from the Maldives it was so golden blonde I mean I've luckily managed to kind of pull it back to a bit more silvery now and take away the sort of brassy tones but it went so it went so golden in the sun it really stripped away the silver so I make sure to have this pack now all the time um, it's my one and only. A lot of you still ask me what I do to get my hair so silvery and shiny grey and it's it's all down to this. The L'Oreal Professional Silver Shampoo is a kind of second shampoo that you leave on almost like a silver mask. It really really works and I love it. That's it for absolute faves in there. Let's go on to the next skincare bag. This is just a cute little Kath Kitson um, wash bag. I've had it for years but it's seen me well it's been on a lot of trips with me this bad boy okay oh yeah something has definitely leaked in here oh wonderful wait with tanning there are a lot of tans i'm really loving at the moment like coco brown vita liberata saint tropez this is the vita liberata phenomenal two to three week tan mousse i just always have it with me it's a really easy one to top up your tan with Ooh. in here i've also got the tom ford shimmering body oil so stunning if you're the kind of girl who loves to go out and you love to kind of have tanned but shiny kind of like victoria's secret style legs this is your secret weapon it's so wonderful it literally spritz on your legs it has that oil formula so it does have the shine already but it also has the shimmer inside it so you get those kind of sparkles of gold hitting the light and your legs just go boom and obviously you can just kind of add it onto your collarbones as well and even cheekbones if you want that really dewy look it's gorgeous and it smells so divine it's wonderful this is so cute um i've got a few of these actually i have a much larger version by my bedside table i always use it every night it's the daddy oil it's a nail treatment it's like a nail oil and because i get shellac so much i really need these sort of things so every night before bed i'll put an oil on then i'll put hand cream on it does really help to get into the nail bed and strengthen it and keep it really hydrated so you don't get little split bits all around the edges of your nails but this is a tiny little version that i take on holiday with me Super cute, but really handy. Got a tiny little bottle of L'Oreal Elnet because you never know when you need some hairspray. Oh my goodness, I have to tell you about these. These Skin Iceland Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. These are my favourite eye gels. I love them. I don't know if you saw on my Snapchat when I was in Dallas, I took a picture of me with these big eye pads on. Uh, they massively help. They're so wonderful if you're really, really tired and you're jet lagged and your eyes are kind of like so heavy and just need a bit of a pick me up. These are so wonderful. They're just pads. Just like really hydrating sort of moist pads moist and you just place them onto just onto clean skin just sort of pull your eye back make it a bit more taut and lay it down across your under eye and leave it there for 15 minutes i went and had a shower i got myself ready still had them on took them off put my makeup and it just kind of helps to brighten up that area give it a bit more life give it a bit more moisturization and it just makes your eyes and your whole face just look a little bit more alive and these are the ones that I really really cover I love these so much the skin eyes some ones quick look in my nighttime bag just to see what I'm loving in here always have a tube of Carmex Carmex I wear every single night and I love the mornings when you wake up and you've not had your head pressed against the pillow so you still got the Carmex on your lips and your lips just look really plump and really like ooh, like kissable I like that. And the night cream that I'm loving, which I've already mentioned, nothing in my favourites, but it's just the LMS Biotech Skin Energising Night Cream. And it's like these two different, one's like a serum, one's a cream, and you place them together. And I can't tell you how much I love this range, seriously, I'm totally in love with it. So inside the Chanel, um, I had the Zoeva Nude Spectrum Palette, because these are my favourite kind of shades, and I knew I'd be sorted for different looks with these. Beautifully pigmented, in fact that's what I'm wearing on my lids now. Just something super simple but easy. I always have the Lorac palette, as you know I'm a massive fan of this contour palette, it's incredible. So I use these two colours as my setting powder. This is my pretty much my one and only highlight, I use it most days. I use this as my bronzer and I use this as my contour. So I use this entire palette and literally spend like five minutes doing this like powder, highlight, bronzing, contouring, you know it's just the whole thing, plus it has a huge mirror big fan of that i never go anywhere without that now oh this is kind of a new find for me i know that amelia loves this so much it's a lip cheat from charlotte tilbury and this is in pink venus it's a bit of a sharper now i've used it to death but this is a really great sort of um light pink slightly nude uh lip liner 
and it's sort of like my lips but better and it's great for the kind of colours that I go for. Foundations, um, I'm back on the Armani Maestro Glow because it's just incredible. I have number two and I have number four and I find having the two with me means that when I'm super tanned I can use four, when I'm really not tanned I can use two and when I'm in between I can use the both. And it really works into the skin because it's more of this oily texture. But then over the day the oils evaporate out of the skin and just leave this beautiful pigment on the skin. Plus they have SPF 30 so for me, like I said, I don't really put my face in the sun. I will usually always be in the shade. So just for those times when I'm in between the sun I always have the SPF 30. So these are so great for holiday just to have that kind of high SPF. Guys, I found a new favourite lipstick, although it's very, very similar to my other favourite lipstick, but it's a different shade. This is the YSL Rouge Velop Shine. They've come out with a few different colours, and this is number 44, and I saw Amelia, again, using this, and I was like, uh, what's that shade? I've never seen that before. She's like, this is number 44. And usually I have number one, as you might know, number one nude is kind of like my nude. And this one, it's just a little bit more brown toned. I've got it on now actually, I'll top it up a little bit so you can see. It's just not quite as pinky nude as the other one. And the flavouring of it, and that's really weird to say, but the flavouring of it isn't quite so manufactured as the other one seems. Like this one, it's almost got a bit of a passion fruit, grapefruity, <laughs> grapefruity kind of scent and it's a bit kind of fruity which is much nicer actually than the other formulations so number one doesn't taste as nice as this one the L'Oreal false lash sculpt mascara still loving this so much especially when I get the lash lifts I can wear any kind of mascara it doesn't have to be waterproof although this is a lot of staying power I must say it's kind of one of those mascaras that is a little bit further towards a waterproof formulation it has a lot of holding power but the thing I really like about this is that the way the nib works the idea with this is that it tight lines as well and whilst I kind of feel like it doesn't quite tight line in the way you'd imagine it really gets into the base of the lashes so from that respect it does really thicken and plump up the lashes and just really separates I'm wearing it right now actually it's just gorgeous so big big fan big fan of that I'll quickly mention brushes just so we've been through every single bag um, new finds for me, this is in the New Real Techniques brush set and I mentioned the domed shadow brush in my favourites and this is also in that set and this has become my new powdering brush and it's called the Multitask brush, well I use it for powdering and I use it with the Lorac Pro palette with the lighter shades I just really work it into all the different areas that I need to powder and I just find that it doesn't make my skin look cakey it just really sweeps the product on beautifully. I've got my By Terry Bond Rose Lip Balm in here, which is still my absolute fave for on the go. It just really plumps and hydrates and it just gives the lips a really pretty sheen. Right, I'm gonna leave it there, guys, because that is a lot of products I've talked about. I'm literally losing light as we speak. All the products, as always, will also be listed down below in the description bar. Just hit the show more button and it'll show you everything that I mentioned here. But I really hope you got something out of this. Like, these products are my genuine favourites. So the ones that I'm literally, when I go to my cabinets in the bathroom, I'm like that, 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 that. And I generally keep them all in bags next to each other. And I keep them all ready for every single one of my trips, just so I don't have to keep repacking them. But I'll add things in, I'll take some bits away. And these are the bits that I've been taking, for, especially the last three long haul trips, because I knew I'd need that extra oomph for the skin to keep it perfect. So yeah, so I really hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, please do give it a like. Make sure you're subscribed as well. I do two videos a week. Just hit the subscribe button. I look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye!